tough one out actually right from the guard to get go. But you're a catcher, you obviously get to see this new pitch clock rule from both yeah. perspective with a pitcher and as a hitter. Just wondering what your thoughts are on it and how you guys have adjusted to it so far. Yeah, there's definitely some things I, I like about it and some things that kind of aren't the best. Like Jordy mentioned a minute ago, like the strike three on bear, like that that sucks, I'm be honest. But part of it, too, it speeds up the game. Like if Thatcher's in a rhythm on pitching side, he's on. Like y'all saw in, on Tuesday, like he got in a rhythm, he got his stuff down. That dude's almost unhittable. So, I mean, there's there's pros and cons. So you really just got to – I just got to look at it in a positive way. Like how's it going to help us? Don't focus on the negative. So. Can you tell that most of the pitchers like having a rhythm, or it's a differing for a lot of the guys on the staff? I mean, just from your perspective, do, do some guys settle in better than others with the new rule? Yeah, I mean, I think all athletes like a rhythm. Like a guy in basketball likes to be – like his jump shot's got to be in rhythm. Like it's just part of like human nature. Like in the box, everything you do before the pitch, load, step, like everything wants to be in rhythm. It just feels comfortable. And so whatever they can do to get that rhythm and feel comfortable, I feel like that's when they have a lot of success. Coming out of high school, uh, Jay kind of talked about it a little bit, that how hard he worked to get you here. I know the draft yes, was obviously. I mean, how did you weigh professional baseball versus coming here, and how tough was that decision? Um, it was, I mean, college baseball is always something I saw. Like, I watched all the games on TV, and I was like, holy, that environment looks incredible. Like, that's just something I want to do. Like, I mean, I was, I'm a young guy. Like, I came out young out of high school. I skipped my junior year. Like, it's just something I saw. I was like, hey, like I want to do that. Yeah, it, it was tempting, but I felt like for me and my development, Coach Johnson, there's no, there's no other better guy to like develop from than Coach Johnson. I just felt like that's what's best for me and my career, and I want to win and win a national championship. That's one of my goals. So, yeah. How much harder is it to sort of disrupt the timing of a pitcher when there's a clock literally timing you as to as to when he has to you know, get into his delivery and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I y'all might have seen so far, like it'll be like at 11, I'll be like, hey, get on the mound, get on the mound. Like, that's just something you got to do. Like, I'd rather, I think they would admit to it too, you'd rather be a little disrupted and like a little thrown out of your rhythm than 01, you know, ball one. Like, so, I mean, that's just something you got to deal with. It's just part of the game. I mean, not everything's going to be how you want it, you know? Yeah, there's, there's things that get thrown at you that you just got to have to adjust to, so. What did you feel like you needed to adjust to coming to LSU? What did you really try to work on to yeah. be ready for? And I know there's improvement right from the fall to mm -hmm. the spring, but where do you think you did the most? Uh, I would just say like defense and consistency. Consistency, like there was times in high school where I was a really good player, and there's times where I kind of struggled, went through like a two game stretch, three game stretch where I struggled a little bit. And so just honing in on my like, my offense, like not swinging at balls is a big thing. And Coach Johnson's the best at teaching how not to swing at balls. So, I mean, like just really seeing the pitch, tracking it, and being consistent with it, not chasing. I mean, a, walk, a leadoff walk, like when me and Jordy got on base, Duke gets a home run. Like, that's why you, that's why the walk's important because there's so many good hitters behind me. Like, every guy in the lineup's a great hitter. So, I think that's just improving on my walk and swing decisions was a big part of it. You have two pitchers that you work with that were catchers or started off as catchers. Yes, Paul yeah. Is that is there a rapport there? Do you yeah. notice it? Yeah. Yeah. So Paul Paul's awesome. Like he still helps. He helps helps all the catchers with our defense too. Like he was a great catcher. And so there's certain things he likes and Thatcher likes that kind of like I I do for them. Like maybe if it's giving a target a certain place for a certain pitch against a certain batter, you know, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Like gets their eyes in the right spot to throw that pitch. So there's there's like things like that for each guy that you got to, like me, Al, all the catchers really know them for those pitchers, but you, you do those little things to help them perform at the highest level. You, uh, you, you talk about being 17 coming to yeah. school year. And just what I noticed you with the other catchers mostly, look around most of the guys. I mean, yeah. you talk a lot of crap to them, you know. It was important for you to not be the little kid on the team or to, to, to really fit in socially as much as you can? Yeah, I'm, I've, I have two older brothers. I've always just like, like they, they nag at, like they try and get at me. That's just something, I mean, I like it. Like my sophomore year at IMG, like I was the youngest guy on the team by like two years. Like, and so they, they just kind of pick at you. And then like, it, it's just fun. Like we're just having fun. We're messing with each other. Like it's all fun and games. Like whether it's a catcher pop up or we're thrown down a second, I over, throw it over and Al throws an absolute dot like he always does, like right on the back. It's like, oh my gosh, like I can't win one today, you know, so. We talked to Jay a couple of weeks ago and he said Alex had really taken a, you know, kind of ownership of the catcher group and mm -hmm. had really been helping you guys yeah. you know, 
bringing you up? How has he helped you as a defender behind, yeah. the, behind the plate? He's, he's a tremendous help. They're like, for the catcher position, it's, it's hard because there's like one spot on the field, but you can't get better in practice unless you have somebody pushing you. Like, he, he's part of the reason I've developed a lot since I've been here. Like, he's, he's a very good player, very good player. And like, that pushes me in practice. Like, okay, like, he's, he's doing this this way. Like, well, I'll, be, I'll ask him, like, hey, like, why do you do that? How's it helping you? And he gives me like feedback and like, we'll go in like after practice and work together and like trying to perfect the little things on like both sides of our game. So, I mean, he's, he's a great player. Great defender. As a catcher, how often are you sort of con con communicating with Wes Johnson, just sort of the, yeah. you know, the game plan as to what you guys are going to do on um, a given given day? Yeah, it, it's all the time, every day, every practice. Just okay, who we got in the lineup against Butler? Who we got in the lineup against Lamar? We got coming up. You know, there's just there's so many things, and for each pitcher, it's different. How they attack hitters, how they set them up, what's their kill pitch, all those different things that. You just gotta have in like the back of your head when you're sitting back there, watching the clock go down. But <laughs> yeah, so it's just he's he's Coach Johnson's great. Coach West Johnson's great. Like he just he helps me so much. Man, like like with Paul, they just give me tips like what the guys need, like what the guys need to see. I mean, he did it at the highest level. He knows what he's talking about, so I listen when he when he tells me stuff. So. What are some of those smaller things that you've learned from Coach West? Uh, like rhythm, like uh knowing when to like throw the ball hard back and when to just kind of like throw it normal. Like some guys you need to slow down, some guys you need to speed up, like that sort of thing. Like getting guys in rhythm like we just talked about. So part of that is literally just simply throwing the how you it's, throw the yeah. ball back them. Yeah. Yeah. I've never heard of it before. Yeah. So we're probably not talking about Nate enough in what he's mm -hmm. been doing. Just what kind of guy is he that you're seeing out there on the mound? That dude's a dog. Like I hope you don't pull up my bats off him from the fall because it was not the best, that lefty lefty. but. It's a dog. He's he's a great player, great competitor. You go out there, he doesn't he doesn't have a heartbeat. He just goes out there and doesn't feel any pressure and just deals every time. So he's it's impressive, especially I'd hate to face him, especially well, Tuesday, Texas. He had like 32 strikes out of 39 pitches. I think. Yeah. He, what did you see out of his hand on Tuesday this morning? He just pounds his own. He's consistent. The slider is nasty. The sliders did. They had a lot of lefties in that lineup too. Which uh, the last out of the game, I think it was the lefty left fielder. Uh, popped up to no that was a ground ball but anyway there's just the slider to left-handed hitters is it's hard to hit like it's just a difficult pitch from a difficult arm slot and he's got 93 coming right behind it if you're sitting on it so and then with coach west coach johnson calling pitches it's the he's got the batter's mind in a like hurricane like they just don't <laughs> know it's coming you know so um are he and riley similar in, in that regard like as far as Yes, they're yeah, they're both just like mental. They're dogs. Like nothing gets in their head. They don't skip a beat, and that's something like I look at them like, holy cow! Like, I hope I can get better at that and be like those guys. Because Coop is just the dude doesn't get he doesn't get phased. I remember watching the games on TV last year and it was like, holy guy, holy cow! This just got, he just gets out. So like no matter what the situation is, he gets out every time. So. Is it the beard and the, the long hair? I mean, that's something I can't something. pull off yet. Maybe in a couple <laughs> of years, but yeah, Coop's the man. So. Does X slider, is that more of a, is it slurvy or is it kind of trail away? Uh, it fades a little bit. It goes down to like a gyro pitch. It's just disgusting. It's hard. It's hard to pick up too, the spin on it. It just, it kind of looks like a little cut fastball and then it just dives straight down. So it's, it's nasty. Is it hard to catch? It, it is. So luckily in high school, I had a really good left-handed pitcher that I had to catch a lot and that kind of prepped me. But still, like I go on that spin ball, I'll do it after we're done. At practice and just go catch lefty sliders and righty sliders. Paul's big sweeper for Friday just to prep because these guys are so good. I got to train them, train their pitches every day. So, can you walk us through Christian's cutter? Yeah, that's another one. That thing's just nasty. And the fact that he throws it like 88, 90, that's just, that's tough. That's so tough. It's kind of like the guy we faced on Tuesday at Texas, just a hard 90 mile hour cutter. It's, it's hard to hit. And when he puts it in the zone, like he did. And his outing with that 96 mile hour heater, it's just they play off each other so well that it's just so hard to hit. We have so many guys that just have great stuff and great command. So. Is Thatcher's, how much difference is Thatcher's cutter than Christian's? Uh, I would say, I mean, they're pretty similar. Thatcher's is more of a slider, in my opinion. I mean, his has more horizontal more and depth. Uh, horizontal, so side to side, in my like if you go watch, 
let me think. Like some of the that Thatcher's outings from the fall, you'll see that slider just horizontal, just sweeping across the zone. Um, I think they're similar speeds. They're both upper 80s, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure, but um, they're both just great pitches. Like Thatcher threw it to Texas and they couldn't hit it. Christian came behind 96 up in the zone, cut her down the zone, still can't hit it. I mean, and Texas is a great team. Like those guys, those guys battled. You know, they got good. That guy they threw was a great pitcher. So. Was there a moment with Wes during game where you're like, oh, why is he calling this pitch? And no. he's a little bit confused, or you were a little bit off, uh, maybe thrown off by uh, a decision you made, and then it, you know, obviously it, it worked well. No, I, whatever he calls, I have confidence in. It's like, whatever he does, whatever both Coach Johnson say, I do. Like, if they tell me to <laughs> bunt, I'm bunting. If you, like, hit and run, I'm doing, I'm hitting the ball on the ground. Like, Whatever they tell me, I have complete trust in. Because, I mean, if you don't have trust in your coach, I mean, I, in my opinion, you're not going to get that much better. So I trust him with everything I do, and I think that's why I've made a lot of progress while I was here. So. What was your experience like playing at Dish Falk Field under the lights? Awesome. Yeah, that was awesome. I got a, I got, I was fortunate in high school to play at a couple really cool parks, and that one was just that one was special. The playing surface. My family's from East Texas, so a lot of them were there. That was pretty cool. And so, like, in high school, I didn't get to – they came to games, but not a lot of them. So that was really cool with all my, uh, like, 14 family members there. So that was awesome. you 18 yet, or are you still 17? I turned 18 in October, okay. so, yeah. I'm an adult. Not a lot of Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Thanks, Brady. Thank you, Thanks, Brady. 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 Thanks, Brady.